my dear subscribers and viewers today i have come to describe about construction charging and discharging and working principle of a battery cell in a battery or cell electrical energy is stored as chemical energy and this chemical energy is then converted into electrical energy as and when required the electrical energy is converted into chemical energy by applying external electrical source is known as battery charging during charging of battery current is passed through battery which causes some chemical changes inside the battery these chemical changes absorb energy during their formation conversion of this chemical energy into electrical energy is known as discharging of secondary batteries when the battery is connected to the external load the chemical changes take place in reverse direction during which the absorbed energy is released as electrical energy and supplied to the load cell on discharge in dilute sulfuric acid the molecules of the acid split into positive hydrogen ion and negative sulfate ion when the load is connected externally between the plates the hydrogen ion reach at pbo2 plate and take electrons from it and become hydrogen atom which react with pbo2 and forms pbo and water this pbo reacts with sulfuric acid and form lead sulfate and water sulfate ions are moving freely in the solution so some of them will reach to pure pb lead plate where they leave their extra electrons and become a radical so4 as the radical so4 cannot exist alone it will attack pb and forms lead sulfate as hydrogen ion takes electron from pbo2 plate hydrogen ion takes electrons from pbo2 plate and sulfate ion gives electron to pb plate sulfate ion gives electron to pb plate there would be an inequality of electrons between these two plates hence there would be a flow of electron through the external load between these plates 
for balancing this inequality of electrons. This process is called discharging of lead acid battery. As a result, a current will flow through the load circuit in opposition to the direction of flow of electrons. Both of the plates are covered with lead sulphate. Cell or battery voltage decreases. Specific gravity of sulfuric acid solution falls due to formation of water during the reaction of PBO2 plate. Thus, cell energy discharges. As a result, the rate of reaction falls, which implies the fall of potential difference between the plates and is needed to recharge the battery. Shell on charging To charge the battery, PBO2 plate is connected with positive terminal and PB plate with negative terminal of that DC source or charger. During discharging, the density of sulfuric acid, the density of sulfuric acid falls, but there still sulfuric acid exists in the solution. The sulfuric acid also remains as hydrogen ion and sulfate ions in the solution during charging sulfate so4 ions anions moves toward the pbo2 anode connected with positive terminal of dc source where they will give up their extra electrons and become radical so4 this radical so4 cannot exist alone here reacts with pbso4 of anode and forms lead peroxide and sulfuric acid. Hydrogen ions, cations being positively charged moves to the PB plate cathode plate connected with neg negative terminal of the DC source. Here each hydrogen ion takes one electron from that and becomes a hydrogen atom. These hydrogen atoms then attack PBSO4 and form lead and sulfuric acid. In this way, numbers of electron at PBO2 increased and decreased at PB plate. As a result, strong potential difference is established between the plates during charging.